friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and today I'm here to share with you the recipe that I'm using for our homemade laundry detergent. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about our experience using homemade laundry detergent. We've been using it now for almost seven months and I want to share with you my thoughts about it, some tips and tricks, as well as if we're going to do this whole thing again. A lot of recipes say that they will last an entire year. Find out if that's the case for this particular recipe, I'll let you know. So if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would stick around a little bit longer. We love to talk about all things heart and home here at Sweetly Home, and I would love for you to be a part of that. If you have any questions about homemade laundry detergent and my experience, please leave them down below if I didn't answer that in the course of the video. I do like to try and respond to all my comments, so um, if you have something to share, or a question to ask, please leave it down below. Okay, so let's get going. I will have the original recipe link as well as any substitutions that you need for this recipe down below in the description box. So first I started off by purchasing a new clean bucket from Lowe's. I also got a lid to go with it and we will mix everything in that bucket. I'm starting off with some laundry booster. This is from Arm & Hammer. It is a super washing soda. You can find all of these supplies in your local big box store um, in the laundry aisle. This I found all at Walmart. Then you're going to need four ball bars of Fells Naphtha soap. You can also substitute Zote soap. You can use either the pink version or the white version, but you're going to need four bars. This is where all of the cleaning action happens when it comes to your laundry detergent, so make sure that you get the four bars. Some recipes call for less, and this is why I love this recipe, because it cleans so well. You're also going to need a cheese grater. I actually had an extra cheese grater on hand that I just pulled out of my kitchen and decided to use for this project, and I'm just keeping it in my laundry room now to make another batch of soap. Also, you are going to need a box of Biz, you can substitute for OxyClean. Again, make sure to check the original recipe link down below and she will have all of that information as well. So next up comes the Borax. I love Borax. It is a natural cleaner. It really brightens your clothes. We were actually using Borax prior to actually making our own homemade soap, we have hard water and our clothes were getting quite dingy. And the when I added borax into my routine, my clothes were bright and so nice. Okay, so let's get mixing. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to grate all of your soap with your cheese grater. My little um, cheese grater had a little cup on the back that held the soap. This process took less than 15 minutes. I timed it to make sure it was so fast. And here I've just dumped it all into the bucket. My hubby wanted to help with this. He had a lot of fun kind of mixing everything. So here he is mixing in the biz. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna add each one of these products. And prior to adding the next product, you're just gonna mix it really well. So first he added the biz, gave it a good mix. Then the washing soda gave it another good mix. And then lastly, he will go ahead and add the borax. And again, give it a really good mix. I use a half tablespoon measure inside of my laundry soap just to scoop it out into the washing machine. I use actually one full tablespoon per load of laundry. When it comes to really, really dirty things, sometimes I'll use a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons if it's particularly dirty. But the half tablespoon just works really well for me. And I decanted all of my soap into this really large pickle container that I picked up at a yard sale. In the original recipe, the author mixes the scent booster, so Scentsy Washer Whiffs or Purex Crystals right in the soap itself. I like to mix up my scents, so I actually um, didn't do that part. I keep my stuff all separate. This is some Purex Crystals in a Canadian Crown canning jar, and I just keep that in my little cabinet above my counter in my laundry room. I usually have so many more scents on hand, but at this point in time of filming, I was out. But I really like um, Scentsy Washer Whiffs because you can get so many really, really good 
scents and they are my favorite. So I just put one tablespoon into the soap compartment of my washing machine and I add vinegar into the softener part and the vinegar will soften your clothes and the whole combination of everything together I don't know our clothes have just been so clean and so soft and they smell wonderful I'm just so so impressed with this soap So for this homemade laundry detergent, it cost us, I believe, around $50. And I say I believe because a friend of mine actually picked up the ingredients for me when she went over into the States. I am an American living in Canada, um, and while I can get all of the ingredients here, it's actually cheaper to do it in the States. So um, it was roughly around $50 US to do this project. The initial recipe, which I will have listed down in the description box, she didn't exactly list an exact measurement for how much powder to use. Um, she uses the scoop of her Purex crystals, and I didn't have that particular thing. So it took a little while, a little trial and error at the beginning to figure out what ratio was going to be best for us. And I finally settled on one tablespoon per load. My husband is in the trades. He's a plumber <laughs> and his clothing gets very dirty. In fact, he works in a lot of mines and doing shutdowns and things. Um, and so his clothing, they actually don't even want them to bring it home. It's so filled with junk and grossness but occasionally some of that stuff does make it home and I have found that this um, laundry detergent totally cleans his clothes for his clothes that are like really dirty and messy he's also a hunter um, and he does uh, field training with dogs and all kinds of stuff so he's a real outdoorsman um, for his laundry I tend to use um, a tablespoon and a half as you saw in the video, I use a half tablespoon measure to scoop my powder out. So basically that means I'm scooping out between two and three scoops depending on the loads. I have absolutely found that this stuff works. I, I was even thinking about it today and I was floored how well it actually cleans. Like this little tablespoon of some powders cleans my clothes so well. I've had zero complaints about this. We made our first batch of homemade laundry detergent at the beginning of August. And at the time of filming, we're sort of heading towards the end of January. Um, and in the video, you can see how much we have left. Um, and so, I don't know if this particular recipe would have lasted an entire year. Um, I think that I'm going to be able to squeeze out another month or two out of what we have left again because we're only using a tablespoon of product and there's about that much left um so my thought is that in march i'll probably make a new badge and that doesn't quite push us to a year now at the beginning i was really trying to sort through like how much soap i was going to need to clean our clothes and I was using like a couple tablespoons and for a while my husband was when he would do laundry he would add um, more than a tablespoon so I think we could have eked out a little bit more um, but it wasn't quite a year now I will tell you that we are a family of four I have two little kids we have a, a kennel of dogs that's <laughs> something my husband does. We have lots of dogs um, and my husband again he has all of these like dirty work clothes and I hand wash my dishes so I go through a lot of towels and washcloths so we generate a lot of laundry. I don't know in comparison to your family what my laundry load looks like. I just know we're doing laundry every single day um, and it's at least a load or two a day so we got a lot of stuff to wash. Would I recommend that you try homemade laundry detergent? If you want to try it, I'm telling you, this is a really solid, good recipe. The thing that I love the most about it is that the blogger who put this recipe together, she was finding that other um, laundry soaps were using more brighteners and they weren't actually using the cleaners that you need to get your clothes clean. And so that's how she ended up putting this recipe together. So you will find that if you compare this recipe to maybe some other recipes, that there is more like the Felsnapfa or Zote soap in it to actually clean the clothes. Because 
that's what you want. Of course we want the brightening effect, of course we want the stain fighters, but we really want clean clothes. And I love that she added a little bit more of the cleaning products to this laundry soap to make it actually really work well. And I think that's why it's been such a major success for us. My clothes have stayed bright, they've stayed very clean, um, everything smells wonderful. I like to switch up the scents that we use in our laundry with washer whiffs. I like to use um, the Scentsy brand, so they're like little crystals that you throw in your washing machine and they scent your clothes. So I am pretty much addicted to the Scentsy brand. I love them so much. But I just recently started using a bottle of Purex that I cannot get enough of the smell. It's so good. Um, so I would recommend that you use a product like that to make your clothes scented if that is what you're looking for. So when it comes to washing my laundry, I also add white vinegar into the wash to help soften the clothes and clean them even further. And then when I am drying my clothes, I am now using some wool dryer balls. You can add a drop or two of essential oils to the wool dryer balls themselves, um, and that will help scent your clothes too naturally. The only downside that I did find with this product, I guess it's kind of two, it's twofold. So the first is, is that it's a powder, and powder can be kind of messy if you're not careful. Um, so there is that to contend with. You may have to sweep up your floor a little bit more or you may have to wipe down your counter a little bit more if you're not careful. I'm not always very careful. Um, so there is that to contend with. I was used to liquid soap. I've used liquid soap for pretty much my entire laundry, my pretty much my entire I've used liquid laundry soap pretty much the entire time that I've ever done laundry, so the powder was a new experience for me. The second thing that I found is that I put the powder inside of the drawer of my washing machine. I have a front-loading washing machine, and I just pull out the little drawer and put in my scoop of powder into the detergent area, um, and I was finding that if I washed my clothes on cold, it wouldn't always dissolve the detergent and the detergent would be a little bit clumpy. Now, I don't throw it into my washer drum for just, I don't know why, but I just don't. <laughs> um, it, I would recommend that you would put the detergent into your drum, washer drum first before you put the clothes so the detergent doesn't get trapped within any of the clothes. So I do find that I wash my clothes more on warm or hot. I always wash my towels and sheets on hot, and I also wash my husband's work clothes on hot because I want those really clean. <laughs> but everything else I do wash on warm and I rinse with cold. Now that may just be my washing machine. My machine is, uh, I say about nine years old, so that could just be my machine that is the issue there and it may also be my water we have hard water so I would encourage you to just sort of experiment with that especially if you only wash your clothes in cold I think you would be fine if it's in your washer drum and maybe now that I'm saying all of it maybe I'll try that on my next load thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one bye So that your clothes, so the, the, the,